So the room that I'm currently in you may be familiar with in the background of my videos but I've never actually shown it to you guys. Now if you don't know, in the past couple of months I have moved back into my mum's house. This room did actually once upon a time used to be my bedroom but I did convert it into kind of an office space before I moved out and now that I've moved back it is technically a pet room slash office room. And a lot of you guys have been really curious to see what it looks like so today I'm finally getting around to showing you a tour of this room. Now this room is quite small compared to some other pet room tours you may have seen but I asked you guys if you wanted to see it anyway and you said yes so that is what I'm going to be doing for you today. They also don't have as many animals as some other people do in their pet room tours but again I asked you guys if it was something that you wanted to see and you said you did so I'm going to go ahead and do that for you now. So the first thing you see when you walk into this room is this wardrobe and I'm not going to show you inside of here because it is a bit of a mess. This is just basically where I store all of the bedding, so the wrap bedding and the mouse bedding, that is all stored in this cupboard. And then below this I just have this bean bag that I sit on when I'm playing with the rats. So next to this is the rat cage and this is probably the biggest thing in the whole room and takes up most of the space. This is the Pet Planet Rat and Ferret cage. Now I do have a whole separate tour of this cage looking the way that it does now on my channel in the iCards and also linked down in the description if you want to check that out. But yeah, this is where my rat cage is next to the wardrobe in this little like corner bit here. So I did mention this briefly in my rat cage video but I'll just go over it again quickly in this video. Underneath my cage is where I store most of my animal supplies. Now this one up here is like cleaning supplies. This is a whole box of rat food. This has props for photos. This has extra rat treats in it. A couple of boxes back there just have extra rat toys and things like that. This is a cleaning spray. This is their travel cage and I do need to get a bigger one for the rats because I'm going to have four rats soon. And then here is just a box of banana chips and then this is just a bunch of treats all mixed together. This is a box of mouse food. These are spare ladders that go to the cage but I've took them out. This is a spare tray for the cage. Here is some toilet roll and then some baby wipes and then I just have some like spare clips and things for hammocks like all thrown in down there. So right next to my rat cage is my desk now. I'm not going to pretend that I sit here and do productive things, although I do enjoy sitting here because it is so close to the rat cage. Most of the time I just use my desk to take pictures of the rats and the mice because it is completely white so it works really well for the photos that I take. So just to give you a quick overview, on my desk I have this little mouse ornament and then some plants and some cactuses on the top. So my desk is from Ikea and one thing that I really like about it is the fact that it has a magnetic back. So on here I've just stuck a couple of pictures. I have a picture of my dogs. One of my dogs unfortunately did pass away a couple of months ago. So I have her picture on here, this little cactus picture and then a picture of me and my boyfriend and a picture of me and my mum. And then I just have this magnetic whiteboard as well that I've just written down all the previous dates that I cleaned my animals out. Don't take too much notice of this because I am filming this in advance but this is just for me to recognise when the last time I cleaned them out was to know when I need to do it again. And then on my desk I've actually individually stuck down every single leaf with tape because I use it as my background for my photos and I found that if I didn't stick them down they were getting like knocked around so I've stuck them down for the entirety of October but they will be coming up after that. And this is just my area where I take all my pictures and then next to that I've just got too many pumpkins or I think the technical term for these little ones is gourds. I use in my photos but these just stay here all the time. And then on the shelves of my desk I have one of these Ikea rat or mouse plushies. I do have three of these but I'm not sure where the third one has gone. And then next to that I just have this box frame and these paw prints that I took of Fig. Before he passed away I just plan on painting these and putting them in this frame like I've done previously. I'll link the video on how I do this in the iCards and also in the description if you're interested. So on the shelf below that I just have some acorns that I again use as photo props, this little Halloween trick or treat basket thing and then another one of these mice that has a little witch hat on it. And then moving down from that I just have some extra treats, these are smaller ones that I use for taking my photos so I leave these on my desk most of the time and then next to that is just a pot of stationery. So this is my windowsill, I've just attached these Halloween lights that go all the way along here and my dog has put muddy paw prints on the wall which I've only just noticed. Great. <laughs> and then on the actual window I've just stuck these like Halloween pumpkin and bat sticky thingies and then I also have these candles but don't worry They've never been lit, I just like the way they look, so they're just there for decoration. 
And then this cactus terrarium thing which doesn't really have anything in it because I am really terrible at keeping plants alive so that's looking pretty sad right now. So below all this we just have the radiator and then at the bottom we just have a box I use my rats when they're free roaming and another plastic tunnel. In this corner we just have this table that I got from Ikea and my printer on top of that and I just have a couple of spiders that I use as props in my photos with that spider web stuff and then this really creepy skull and then underneath this is where I keep my bucket for cleaning out my fish tank. So on this side of the room we just have my, I think it's called an Ikea Calyx drawers. These just have my extra animal supplies and then other things for me like art supplies. And starting on the left is my floral tea fish tank. So in here we have my better fish pyro and my bamboo shrimp forest. Moving on from that I just have some more Halloween decorations. I stuck this like pumpkin tinsel all around the cupboard and then I just have this glass pumpkin that has a plant in it with a skeleton rat which is so anatomically incorrect but I like it anyways and then this I think they're called clapper boards right this clapper board thing and then above all of this I just have this great wave poster so taking up most of the unit is my mouse's cage this has pebble opal and pearl in here now the cage is Halloween themed at the moment but they've made a right mess inside this cage is an appropriate size cage for three mice but I really do want to upgrade them to an IKEA detail cage that will take up this entire unit when I do eventually move out of here which hopefully will be soon and hopefully I won't have to have this cage too much longer because I have had a couple of issues that make me not like the cage but I don't want to have to go out and get a separate one when I know that I will be getting an IKEA detail hopefully sometime soon. But this is their cage at the moment and it sits really nicely on this unit and they seem to be enjoying it, there's no issues there, so this is my current mouse cage. So as I said before, some of these drawers do have animal supplies in it, I'll show you the ones that have animal supplies, but some of them just have some of my stuff in there too, so we won't be looking at that, but I'll show you all the animal supply ones. So in this one here, directly below the fish tank, I just have all of my fish supplies and this just has all of his food in it and the dechlorinator, the food for the plants and aquarium salt stuff like that is all in here and then in the bottom one is just some spare fleece that I use sometimes when I'm cutting up things for example making these ropes in here this is just all of my spare fleece and in this one I just have all of these spare animal supplies that are too big to fit in these storage boxes underneath the rat cage and I also have some random things like a spider web and a snowflake chew but yeah, most of these things in here are just too big to store anywhere else. And then this bottom one is just filled with hammocks. This one's like got loads of holes in it. This one's filled with hammocks and then this one on the bottom is also filled with hammocks for the rats. So next to the mouse cage and next to the cupboard is just this bag down here that I used to put all of my dirty rat laundry in there before I take it downstairs to put it in the washing machine. So that is it for today's video guys, I really hope you enjoyed seeing the space that my animals live in and how I've decorated it for Halloween. I'm hoping that when I move out of here eventually I can do you another pet room tour because it will look a lot different to how it looks now. Don't forget to subscribe to see more animal related videos from me and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!